What up guys, Clouded Journey here, and I have just returned from Comic-Con. That's right, there's a big Comic-Con this weekend, probably most of you have heard it, some of you might have even been there, uh, but yeah, I'm of course talking about Bellingham Comic-Con in Washington. So yeah, I had a great time, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever, it's actually a really small con, uh, I just kind of heard about it. For any of you guys who are collectors or are new collectors or anything like that, this is, uh, this is a great place to pick up books because you got vendors there who are looking at just getting rid of their stuff. They want to sell a lot of merchandise fast, so a lot of them are willing to make deals. A lot of them have 50% off bins or giving stuff out for a dollar or two dollars. Uh, yeah, so I uh, just picked up a whole bunch of stuff. I decided to, I was thinking about getting some bigger key issues while I was there, but I figured I'd rather go for a little bit more quantity than uh, necessarily quality. So, not that this stuff isn't high quality, it's just not the big key $100 issues or anything like that. Um, today is Canadian Thanksgiving weekend, um, so my wife was gracious enough to let me go while she slaved away and prepared turkey and stuff for our family that's coming over later. So, th that's why I'm filming this in the car right now, because as soon as I get home, I'm going to have to be getting to work, and my kids are going to be crazy, and I'm not going to have time to do anything, so figured I'd get this done pretty quick here before I got home. But yeah, so I'll show you. These, I got uh, a few amazing Spider-Mans from... These are all for a dollar. So, anytime you get amazing Spider-Man for a dollar, you got to pick it up. So, Civil War stuff. Uh... It's part of the nightfall. I just kind of pick these up whenever I can get them. And if they're a buck, happy to do that. Batman 690. Batman 689. Batman 661. Devil Dinosaur number one. Jack Kirby. This was not a dollar, but it was still cheap. Uh, I saw this. I don't know if it was on someone's video. I think I saw it on someone's video and I've seen it on eBay and stuff. And I like dinosaur stuff, if nobody knows. Uh, so when I saw like a Jack Kirby dinosaur story, it's kind of, I've, I've had my eyes out for it uh, whenever I could find it. So this is in pretty good condition, I don't know if you can see. It's got a tiny bit of wear on the, the staple there. Looks like the staple might be a little rusty. But it's flat, the colors are bright, looks really good. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, number one. Uh, lower grade issue, probably a very good. He has his very good plus. Um, yeah, but kind of one of those iconic covers. Looks really good. Pretty neat sci-fi stuff. Figures worth picking up. Amazing Adventures featuring the Beast. Lower grade copy, I'd say probably good. Um, you can see the wear on the seam and everything there. But yeah, this is the first furry beast. So you can see the price tag on there. That's not what I paid. So got that for a pretty good deal. Uh, Batman 442. This is a key issue. I think it's the first... I don't know who it is. One of the Robins' first time being Robin, I think. This is coming after the death of Jason Todd, I think. Uh, more $1 books. Wolverine. This Wolverine series, it's funny. There's some like awesome covers, and then there's some terrible covers. Uh, some of the early ones are actually pretty bad. But like I wanted to get them because they're early, and I want the whole series. But these are pretty cool, though. Lady Deathstrike. Wolverine on a minigun. And these are all like near mint. These are amazing condition here. 34, fighting a real Wolverine. That's sick. Devil in the Dark. 33, classic. Out of the Rubble. Come the hand and the claws. 32, against the Yakuza. In gray appearance, 31. Uh, this was also in one of the random bids. Uh, I think this has the first 
appearance of the villain in the new movie. Uh, I've totally drawn a blank on his name, but uh, got the suggested by uh, another YouTuber there. Got it for a buck, so pretty sweet. Uh, what else? Judge Dredd. This is a free one I got at the door. Oh, and then I picked up uh, a bunch of back issues of back issues of Invincible. Which being from Canada, like, I'm a smaller town out of the main city, so I don't have a lot of stores where I am. So it's hard to find some of this kind of stuff. So it's always exciting to find. These were pretty cheap, too. These are all two bucks. 24, 23, 62. This, I think, is the best art in Invincible. It's the Conquest story. Uh, it's just a bunch of fighting and stuff, and a lot of blood and guts, as you can see. But, man, it... It's really good. Uh, if you ever were to get some Invincible, this is one of the stories I would suggest you try and pick up. And this character here, she's like... Uh, she's one of the... I forget the name of the race from Invincible, but she's one of these alien races. I thought her character in the new Man of Steel movie, if you saw it, I thought that was a total ripoff. Because she... Like, short hair, tough, broad... Who comes in and is fighting kind of hot she's that's exactly the character that's in the new man of steel movie i was actually waiting for for some statement by uh by robert kirkman about how there's maybe some bit of a ripoff happening in that movie i don't know if you've watched it but to me there's a lot that seems like it's taken out of the invincible story and ultimate spider-man number one i think this is the first one with miles morales um his series I think it was cheap and I, I was pretty sure so I figured I'd just grab it because I really like Miles Morales and I already have the ultimate fallout number four which is his first appearance but yeah so I feel like I did really well uh, it was a lot of fun talked to a few artists there uh, a couple guys worked on Amazing Spider-Man and stuff so that was really cool talk with them and I think it was the guy who made Carnage from that uh, he was he's the creator of Carnage I didn't have getting any prints or anything from them, but I got there kind of early and no one was around and I chatted with them for about five or ten minutes about the industry and just making comics and what all that's like. So it was really cool. It's a lot of fun. But yeah, so if you guys ever want to get a bunch of books for cheap, definitely look into your local cons or whatever, those, those smaller events, because you can get some really good stuff for a pretty good price. People looking at a deal. So yeah, thanks for watching and keep reading, guys. Take it easy.